So what are your e-bike wants versus needs? Especially senior e-bikers getting back into this after decades. Well, stick around because that's what we're going to talk about today. Again, internet. Well, today me and Mr. Southern e-biking are out riding on the Irwin Dunn Rail Trail in Irwin, North Carolina. And today we're going to talk about what's the difference between what you want and what you need on your e-bike. And if you're a new e-biker, do you really know what you want and what you need? Or does it just look cool? Because cool doesn't always make it. And see, most new e-bikers have no idea what style of e-bike they should purchase. Um, and when new folks ask for recommendations on what they should purchase, most people are suggesting just a brand or a model, not knowing what the necessity of the rider actually is. And then most people don't know what they don't know and what works for someone else may not work for you. What do you think, Southern e-biking? Well, yeah, and uh, uh, I'll give you a great, great, great example. Most senior e-bikers that are returning to biking, I'm not talking about cyclists, I'm talking about people like you and I, honestly, because we were not cyclists, but a lot of times they want their seats down way too low so they can stand flat-footed, and Michelle, you're in that category. You know, because uh, you I'm like to have flat your seat when I, my mom, my Well, but toes. I mean, but I'm, I'm saying close. You don't get end up getting full leg extension. And why are a lot of us riding e-bikes? Well, we got bad backs, bad knees. And if you don't have full leg extension, that's not helping that at all. I promise you. Now, there are e-bikes that are available that have the pedals set forward a little bit. So you can get that full extension with your legs and still have a relatively low seat and have the best of both where you're not, you know, hurting your knees. Uh, has anybody heard of that? I've not heard anybody ever talk about that though. I hear people talk about extend, you know, having full leg extension. And I've heard a lot of people say that it's not important. Funny enough, that's usually somebody that is reviewing e-bikes and they're in their late 20s, early 30s, they're, you know, they're doing a lot of reviews and they'll say, well, most e-bikers don't want to have full leg extension. Uh, if you're a senior, you might want to consider that. So okay. what's your thoughts there, Michelle? And your bike actually- I'm not a senior, so I'm not Let's saying. ride up alongside here. I'm gonna swing my camera right up alongside here just a little bit. Okay. Come on, catch up, girl, catch up. Okay. All right. If you can see, I don't know how well that is, but Michelle's rad bike, the pedals are a little bit forward from the center line of her seat, where if you look at, at my bike, <laughs> well, we're going to just turn the camera down here just a little bit. You know, you can see my leg is straight down to be on the pedals. Michelle's leg is forward when she has it in the down position. A little bit so that gives her more of a leg extension on that style of bike than there is on this style of bike that i'm riding now i do happen to ride with a, a full leg extension mm. uh, but i mean that's just because that's my choice that's my choice but it's not something that i ever considered when getting in to riding e-bikes no we just and, said yeah oh, what looks cool and then we bought it yeah let's go get an e-bike and then we oh, were like God. why did i do that And you're clear all the way there, Michelle. Yep. Um, yeah, and so that's something that, you know, <laughs> really should be considered, no matter what your age, but so especially for seniors. Let's go over the list, you know, a list that uh, we kind of compiled okay. of things that should be addressed, whether it's okay. a want or a need, before you purchase. First one, and these are in no particular order. All right. Throttle or no throttle? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, what else? Is or, stability, or are we addressing each one of these? 
Well, I mean, if you have something to say, we can. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> which I know you always I have think, something to say. You know, I always have something to say. That I am never at a lack of something to say. You know this. I don't really use the throttle. Now, on this heavier bike, I do use it every once in a while, so I can see that. But here would be my one caveat, is I'm not so sure how long these throttles are going to be listed as the same as bicycles. So I would just be aware of that. I wouldn't be worried about it, though. It wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Uh, We've lived without throttles. Uh, I'm sure that people yeah. can live without them. You know, that doesn't necessarily affect a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. But, and, and I'm not, and I'm not going to take the throttle off of this bike right here. I did yeah. take it off my other yeah. bike. Is the next one is stability important? What do you mean by stability? The stability of the bike. Oh. You know. Yeah, and and you're going to get into the wheelbase on things like that. And this, again, this is things that most people do not know anything about if they're just getting into if they're going back to biking and using an e-bike to do it they 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 just don't think about that that's going to be your wheelbase on your bike honestly the fat tires versus the smaller tires uh, does have a very light amount to do with that uh, how much of a rake the front fork has all those things come into the stability and yeah, yeah, you should be able, oh, we heard all about the death wobble a while back uh, about a particular bike, and you shouldn't have anything like that. That goes into a little bit of the cheap brands that we've done videos before about. Yeah. Uh, the next one is... What, do you have is, any thoughts on the stability, Michelle? No, not really. You're clear. I'm riding the bike that I'll always be riding until <laughs> Rad goes out of business. <laughs> My brand loyalties are to Rad, <laughs> specifically the Rad City 5 Plus. We, we had considered even purchasing another one and not even using it, just having it for a backup, just in case something ever happens to her so we yep. have a backup right away, yeah. So yeah. the next one, is range important to you? Because some, some people it may not be important. Uh, you know, let's face it, some folks are out at the RVs they're just they're just tootling along through the campground. They're not looking to go riding 30 miles. Uh-huh. So, you know, I could see where that range to them might not be a big deal. Well, I think that goes right back to the video we did a couple of videos back about mistakes though. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to increase their range a lot when they start getting into this. Yeah. Especially yeah, well, when they start finding out all the places and, and everywhere we go we know there's I mean there's places like this that are just beautiful to go out and explore uh, and they have no idea when they get into this that <coughs> these places are out there a lot of people don't a yeah. lot of people don't hello puppy yeah. um, the next one although it's not you know uh, you're okay dog there's My many goodness, choices right there's you. many choices is style and color important to you I mean let's face it some people they look for the bling and then the first and that's what this they, they don't care about the you know stability I, of the bike they want the bling the bling and, the wanna, bling. and i'm going to tell you the world is getting more and more like that i i can tell you that uh let's turn that thing down we don't really need our navigation on this one i'm just kind I mean, of i'm surprised i'm surprised that we don't see uh, glitter, glitter accessories for e-bikes at this Give point. Give me a second there, Michelle. I want you all to see something. Look how sharp this turn we're coming around is. Believe it or not, this is a rail trail. That is an incredibly tight turn for a train to take down here. All right, sorry, I no. just had to throw that in. No. So back to what you were saying. I said, I, I can't believe, or maybe we're just not in touch with it yet, and that it's actually out there. I'm, I'm surprised that they're not making like glitter accessories for e-bikes at this point. <laughs> they do. You know, or, or rhinestone stuff. They do. <laughs> so, but I mean, that's important to some people. Uh -huh. more, more important than the uh, stability or, or, or stuff like that of the bike. But I think that's in everything. I think that's in everything. I mean, you know, back when I was, 
<laughs> Back when I cowboyed for a living and people would come to me with problems with a horse and, but isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> you know, you can't ride him. He ain't that beautiful. Uh, so I think that, I think that happens in every aspect of life nowadays, so. more and more. And the next one is, you know, what kind of a terrain are you riding on? That, that would be a big thing. That would be a big thing. And, and it's a big one to consider. And not just, well, what's your thoughts on it, Michelle? I've been kind of, you've been kind of telling me what the, what the headline is and I've been kind of taking the story. Here well, it goes, I look mean, at that, look at that. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, check it out, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um, I blew your mind there, didn't I? Not hardly. You heard, you heard that other squirrel back there. No, I'm good. Uh, the terrain, I mean, uh, I, I prefer, uh, as is much seen from our latest video. You have, you have plenty of room here, Michelle. From our latest video when we had your navigation fail. <laughs> that this, now this kind of trail that we're on here, this is like cr crushed, crushed gravel. Very nice. My rad handles it no problem. Um, but I prefer a, a smoother trail. I, you know, I, I will ride on some rock, you know, small rock, but in general, I like this. So, you know, when I bought my bike, I bought it with that in mind. I knew I wasn't going to be out there riding mountain bike trails, just not my thing. And that, that will have a little bit to do with your, your tire size. You know, the, the larger tires are going to be a little bit better, the looser the terrain you're riding on gets. Uh, but it's also going to give you more rolling resistance. And so that's something to consider. The other consideration that I, I don't see a lot of people putting forth is uh, a mid drive or a hub drive. The hub drives are so, so popular and that's and that's what I'm riding right now. And you guys know I have advocated about mid drives for a long, long time. And I still have my mid drive bike. I just keep it off the road. Uh, but if you're in a lot of hills, that is absolutely, you are clear the whole way here, Michelle. That is absolutely a big consideration. It looks like this road we're coming up to is a little busier. Uh, you know, if you're if you're in the mountains and you're riding, even if it's on smooth trails, that would be a definite consideration. Is should I get a mid drive or a hub drive? And, and hub drives are just being shoved out there, shoved out there, shoved out there. I guess the mid drives are becoming a little bit more. But this but whole, not this by whole much. conversation here started when we were just talking about the terrain and stuff. Right, and, so, that, and that some bikes be are better and some bikes aren't, and it all yeah. depends on what you want. Yeah, you know, I don't know that I'd have a, a mid drive if all you were going to ride was this. Well, yeah, I I guess you're what you're maybe what we're maybe talking about more is surface. Yeah. Uh, more than terrain, because the terrain gets into hills. You know, if it's a hilly terrain, and and yeah. I th I think you were thinking along the lines of roads. The surface. The yeah. surface. Exactly. All right. Now. I, okay. You but are I clear will say, all the I mean, way. Even even along your side, um, when I. Uh, you know, when we went up to Lynchburg, then, you know, some of them hills, even up in West Virginia, some of them hills, when my then Schwinn, you know, was very tough to make it up there. Oh, yeah, that, uh, when we was up in Morgantown. Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely, absolutely. But anyway, anyway. Uh, what else you got there, Michelle, for considerations? And, uh, and these storage, things are gonna- Storage. Oh, will yeah. You, um, you know, uh, will you have to carry the e-bike up the steps? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that might make you think about not getting a hundred pound e-bike. Yeah. You've got to haul that sucker up. I don't even care if it's three steps. <laughs> so, you know, and as they're making the bikes bigger and bigger, they're making them heavier and heavier. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really, really hoping it's going to, that trend is going to turn around to where they make them lighter and lighter. Uh, because I think it can be done. Well, but and that again goes well. on style and what you want. I mean, let, let's face it. If you go, if you go somewhere on, and no offense to your your um, trek, but when you had your eco trick versus your trek, you always the the eco trick all because you all you had it all decked up. The eco trick always got the that's a cool bike man yeah. from all the kids. <laughs> Not so much with the trek. And again, no offense to trek. <laughs> no, no, 
<laughs> yeah, everybody thought that was... You know, and you, you <laughs> thought the fact that the kids thought that you were cool was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, all you lacked there was a superhero cape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, flying so, in the breeze, man, flying in the breeze. Another, another factor that kind of relates to this whole thing is how are you going to transport your bike? Yep, yep. Two of us going to come by. Have a great day. So, um, you know, that 100-pound bike is going to be awfully heavy to pick up onto. Yeah. Yeah. And, I don't uh, care and, what and you again, have to pick it up on. Especially, and that, that's even for, for a younger crowd, but especially if you're in the older group of e-bikers, something to very much consider. Something to very much consider. And, um, you know, I mean, and that's going to be no offense to us as we're getting older, but you don't want to be picking up heavy stuff as you're getting older. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, your, your, your wants and your needs can be so, a little bit uh, at odds with each other because we want that cool all-wheel drive, you know. Is it really practical? Is yeah. that really what we need? Yeah. So... The next thing is step through or step over. Yeah, and I'm I'm not one much to talk on that because I'm a senior, and honestly, most seniors probably would be better off. You're not with, officially a senior. Uh, you can't get the discounts through. yet. <laughs> yeah, but I keep getting asked if I am. So. Yeah, but unfortunately, you don't. But. Uh, uh, you know, and, I, and I ride a step over, period. I, w I wouldn't have a step through as my main bike. And uh, how y'all doing today? All right. The next, uh, the next consideration is folding or not folding. You know, I hope this audio comes out good because I got my helmet up pretty loud. Yeah, folding or <laughs> well, not but, folding. But hold on, hold on for just a second. What? Uh, on the step over versus the step oh, through. Okay. Um, I have a bit of an advantage in that venue in that I spent a lifetime stepping over horses and there's no such thing as a step through. I guess I've seen a few sway back to nothing they almost considered it that, but there's, there's no such thing as a step through horse. And so I'm kind of acclimated to stepping over with, and so that doesn't bother me as much as it would some other folks on there. All right, so what was you talking about? A folding bike or a not folding bike? Yeah, yeah. That's another consideration, how, you know, how you're going to end up transporting it. Yeah, are you going to want to transport honest, it in the back of your SUV or your yeah, but RV? Yeah, then that goes up to that whole picking it up thing. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, I mean, they're, they're kind of... All right, of, you are clear, Michelle. I've kind of seen a few people picking them things up, and they're, they seem to be very awkward. Yeah, they're... I think the folding... This is just my opinion now, mind you. I think the folding bike is a great thing for the RV crowd. And uh, that is because you can, you can fold it up for when you're traveling and save room inside your RV and you have a, your, your bike out of the weather and out of uh, potentially being stolen and things like that. Uh, and then when you get to your camp destination, whether you're doing a cross country trip or whatever, you're typically there with an RV for days, you don't fold it up every day. For, for somebody to think, oh good, a folding bike, I can just fold that up and carry it up into my apartment. That, you, you might wanna really consider and, and look very closely at a lot of these things to find out if that's really Unless what you need. Unless you're on the first floor. Yeah. And, or you and have even, an elevator. Well, and even then, we got yeah. one car right here. You got room there, Michelle, plenty okay. of Okay. You're clear. Uh, and so, yeah, that, that's, figure out if you really need it to be a folding bike. And like I say, my opinion now, I don't know everybody's situation, but a folder is for the RV crowd to keep it, you know, small amount of space until you're using it and then you leave it unfolded, you know, while you're actually using it, when you're at a campground. Yeah. Uh, what, any thoughts on that, Michelle? Not really, because we're not on a campground. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're uh, yeah. 
We thought about it, but yeah. By yeah. the time we did the math of buying everything, we can be spending a whole several vacations in a uh, yeah. Airbnb until we're dead. Yeah. So anyway, so. next thing is seating position. Well, that kind of goes back into what I was saying about the pedals forward there a little bit. Not necessarily. Uh, you're, you're considering lower body, not upper body. Well. For me versus you, I could not handle your, your the, way, the way you sit like you I, do. I, I understand that, but it, but it does a little bit consider that because a more upright position is what's going to be the style of the bike that has a more forward pedal. Well, maybe. And so that's going to be more of a cruiser style yeah. that has that more forward pedaling in there. And so it does somewhat relate to that. Yeah. So It does somewhat. And we already talked about skinny tires versus fat tires, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, so the next one is, do you have decent places to ride and what are the rules where you ride? Yeah, we talked about that when we were talking about mistakes that get made when buying and uh, your e-bike and, mm -hmm. and, and we would reiterate that again. Uh, because laws are changing fast. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And that's going to be another video that's coming down the pike. So if, and you do not want to miss that yeah. video. And so the best way to do that is make sure you hit that bell and hit that subscribe uh, so that you don't miss that. Did you see that? Cowboy smooth right in there. That's it. Like x lax <laughs> Next one, what, and we, again, we kind of touched on this, but what are, what are the accessories that are available for your bike? I mean, a lot of them are interchangeable, but are there certain things that are just specific for your bike? You know? Yeah, then you're getting into there, you're getting into like a front basket and things and, like well, that. Well, but that's the point. Yeah, I, yeah, and, and that's something to consider. Yep. That's something to consider if you're going to be riding What somebody wants it, like versus a, what they need. Yeah, um, yeah. And the next one is really important. Will qualified mechanics service the bike uh, and can they get replacement parts? Yeah, that's that's going to be a big one right there. Especially with all of these um, one day here, next day gone. And, and, uh, how, and how is this going to affect your wants and needs? So. I mean, because. You do have one coming, but you're you should be OK there, Michelle. Yeah. That's kind of a, not the greatest yeah. uh, area right there. You're kind of blinded a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, and... Let's face it, most new e-bikers, and I include myself on that list, don't have a clue how to do anything on their bikes. Well, yeah, and that comes into your wants and your needs because you might want what really looks cool on that YouTube review or or on that internet, but is that what you really need? Something that nobody's gonna be willing to work on. So yeah, 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 no question about that. So, so what else you got, any? Yep, I got the, the warranty, money back well, guarantee. Yeah, that comes and into the same thing. And can you get someone on the phone with the company? Yeah, yeah, that comes into a similar deal right there. So, I mean, let's face it. Sitting there on hold for an hour it really is kind of concerned. And we've experienced that, have we not, oh, yeah. Wayne? Yes, we have. I yes, will say Rad should be the model company yeah. for customer Two service. Two of us going to come by on your right. Have a great day. Yep, Rad should be the model company to, uh, because yeah. they, I mean, I, 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 mean I, I can't say any more. They yep. fixed something. They even tried to get it to me overnight, which wasn't going to happen, but they tried. Yep. So, and we didn't even have to ask. There wasn't even a, an argument or nothing. So, and honestly, you got one fun, way down there, Michelle. The, You're the final okay. one is uh, when you get that bike, when you've ordered that bike. And. Go ahead. Can you assemble the bike? Can yeah. you change a flat tire? That comes into how, the same thing. How much are you willing yeah. to do? Yep. So, and that's, that's you know, that's pretty much the list that I've, I've come All up right. with. Good uh, morning. All right, so that's just some things to consider, you know, what, 
your wants versus your needs. And that's, that's the main thing that we wanted to get into here. And especially with so many people coming back into biking through e-bikes that haven't done it for decades. So I think that's just going to wrap it up on that one right there. Internet. So until the next one, hey, this is Southern e-biking and Mrs. Southern e-biking. And what are we telling them? Stay safe. You're God next. bless. And keep the wheels rolling. There you go. All right. Once again, we're, we're out. out.